Well, Field Day is here again. It's Amateur Radio's Open House. Every June, more than 35,000 hams throughout North America set up temporary transmitting stations in public places to demonstrate ham radio science, skill, and service to our communities and our nation. It's so much more than just another contest. It combines public service, emergency preparedness, community outreach, and technical skills all in a single event. Field Day has been an annual event sponsored by the American Radio Relay League, or the ARRL, since 1933, and still remains the most popular event in ham radio. On the fourth weekend of June each year, radio amateurs gather with their clubs, groups, or simply with friends to operate from home or remote locations. Field Day is a picnic, a campout, practice for emergencies, an informal contest, and most of all, fun. It's also a time where many aspects of amateur radio come together to highlight our many roles. While some will treat it as a contest, other groups use the opportunity to practice their emergency response capabilities. It is an excellent opportunity to demonstrate amateur radio to the organizations that it might serve in an emergency, as well as to the general public. For many clubs, ARRL Field Day is one of the highlights of their annual calendar. The contest part is simply to contact as many other stations as possible and to learn to operate our radio gear in abnormal situations and less than optimal conditions. However, this is the year of COVID-19. We are all doing our part in stopping the spread of this disease by limiting the size of gatherings and by observing social distancing. That makes a traditional group field day activity nearly impossible to do safely. So this year, the Sangamon Valley Radio Club, the SVRC, is conducting a modified field day by encouraging our members to participate using their own radios at their own locations. That location may be your ham shack at home, your backyard, a public park, a farm field, a church parking lot, anywhere you have the owner's permission and where you are able to follow the health guidelines or guidance from your local government or health professionals. For our club members in Illinois, ARRL Field Day starts Saturday, June 27, 2020 at 1 p.m. Central Time and ends Sunday the 28th at 12.59 p.m. Central Time. Field Day contacts may be made on 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter HF bands as well as all VHF, UHF, and above amateur radio frequencies. Bands not listed here are off-limits for field day operations, as are all FM repeaters. Remember, field day is not only a contest, it is an operating exercise. It is, however, a great way to get introduced to contesting without the pressure of actually jumping into a traditional contest. When you can start setting up depends upon your class and other particulars. The complete set of rules, regulations, and contest scoring are way too involved and detailed to be covered here in this short video. Go to the ARRL website at www.arrl.org for a complete set of rules and regulations. But I'll go over some of the more basic setups that you will probably employ. Many of our club members will operate as one or more persons at home on commercial power or alternative power like solar or battery. It is just as likely that you will be in some remote location like a park, backyard, parking lot, or farm field. Remember to get permission from any property owners and to stay cognizant of the local government and health professionals' requirements or restrictions. Your class is designated as a number and letter. The number is the number of transmitters operating simultaneously and on different bands under the same call sign. The letter determines the class, and the class of station you are operating depends upon the circumstances. For instance, Class A is a club or group operating from one location using generators, batteries, or other emergency power to run all transmitters and receivers and utilizing no permanent antennas or towers. That is what our club has traditionally done in the past. Class B is one or two hams operating under one call sign from a remote location using generators, batteries, or other emergency power to run all transmitters and receivers. They can run multiple transmitters with no permanent antennas or towers, but must use only one call sign. Class C is mobile stations. The radio, power source, and antenna must be mounted in or on the vehicle. Everything must be able to move together. Class D is for home stations running on commercial power. 
Normally, the ARRL doesn't count the score for a D to D contact. It runs counter to the intent of field day. But since so many are confined to home this year, they have issued a temporary waiver allowing such contact scores. Class E is for home stations operating on emergency power. You can stay at home and operate any other field day stations as long as your transmitter and receiver are powered by a generator, battery, solar panel, or the like. Class F is for stations operating from an emergency operations center, such as the Red Cross, Firehouse, Police Station, or Hospital. Though other clubs may still organize a station at an EOC, our club, the SBRC, will not be supporting a Class F station this year. Let's look at some sample stations. One transmitter and one operator operating from a public park with a portable antenna and emergency power would be Class 1B. With two transmitters on different bands would be 2B. One transmitter with one operator working from home with commercial power and your regular hamshack gear and antennas would be 1D. Two transmitters and two operators working from home with commercial power and your regular hamshack gear and antennas would be 2D. One transmitter with one operator working from home with battery, generator, solar, or any other non-commercial power and your regular hamshack gear and antennas would be 1E. Two transmitters and two operators would be 2E. One operator with all gear located in or on a vehicle would be 1C. There are more combinations and special caveats than we have time for here. Consult the ARRL website for more detail. One last thing, what modes may we use? Well, the answer is simple. Any mode is acceptable. CW, phone, any digital mode, SSTV, satellite contacts, meteor scatter, RTTY, anything goes. So, show us what you can do. Set up something simple or complicated. Work from home or a cow pasture. Make QSOs with CW or high-speed data. Run commercial mains or a bicycle generator. Get out there and show the coronavirus that it can't stop amateur radio from doing what it does best. And let's have some fun while we're at it.